I'm not a guru. Okay. Please hang up and try again. What's going on guys? It's Unconditioned Beauty Rakai here and I'm back here with another braces update. I got my braces tightened today, March 27th. I absolutely am so ecstatic about my progress. Like, you don't even understand. It's something about, and let me know if you guys can relate, it's something about when you get braces, like, you know that they're on, obviously, to straighten your teeth, but when the process kind of happens, you don't expect to see progress that fast. At least I didn't. So now that my teeth are pretty much almost straight, um, it's very surreal. It's super exciting. I just can't wait to get them off. So, sorry, I just ate some stuff. So if it's stuck in my teeth, forgive me. This is real life. Real life. <laughs> so, like, look at that. So, um, do I have any concerns? Um, do I like the way that my progress is going? I've been getting a lot of questions about that and, you know, just having adult braces and feedback and things like that. So I'm going to answer all those great questions in this video. So as far as progress, like I said, I'm ecstatic about it. The only uh, con that I have to my progress is this tooth back here. So uh huh. It's uh, it's kind of off of alignment, so it doesn't have a bracket on it. So I'm like, how is that supposed to straighten? So when I asked uh, the hygienist how is it gonna fix it, she told me my orthodontist will probably fix it once the crowding is fully gone and you're probably looking at my teeth like what do you mean there the crowding is like fully gone but it's not so this tooth right here is off of alignment so all of these are good and these are good but this little tooth right here is off of alignment and there's a huge space like not a huge one but a medium-sized space right here so once that like kind of pops in then they'll be on alignment and then I guess he'll go in and kind of fix that I don't know if that gets fixed with the thick chain I don't even know if I'm getting that uh the wire chain I don't know if I'm getting that but he did say today that I have two more wire changes before I move on to something else so I'm guessing that something else might be the power chain and that's just going to ensure that everything is aligned and good. And then, you know, we're getting there to get off. Like, he was saying that my progression is actually pretty fast. So I was, like, kind of excited about that. So I'm going to try to uh, get my finances together so I can probably push to getting these things off. That's as far as my progress goes. Now, as far as my oral hygiene, um, I just want to let you guys know, like, oral hygiene is super, super, super important. Uh, I think it's like four out of five people are prone to gum disease and things like that. It's the food we eat. It's all the stuff that we put into our bodies. It has an effect on our teeth and your teeth have an effect on your whole entire body i know it might not seem like that but your mouth is like the dirtiest place in the world and it has a whole bunch of nerves that are connected to all these different things in your body this is not a science lesson but i'm just letting you know so <laughs> um it's important that you take care of your teeth so uh first and foremost i had an issue um a little bit of an issue like a periodontitis uh, warning before I got my braces put on so the first eight teeth right here um, I had in my crowding I had hard plaque like tartar build up in my teeth now my top teeth are like huge and my bottom teeth are like super tiny so 
everything was getting like stuck in my gum line and even though it was like you could only see like a little bit of where the tartar was it wasn't really something that was like super super like deluxe noticeable like ew like I didn't look like a yuck mouth or anything it was just like oh okay there's just crowding there and it's a little bit of yellow so um I w when I went to my orthodontist he told me you know you want to get that out of there you want to get a deep cleaning um you're kind of too young to be having that they have like age spectrums you know and it scared the crap out of me so I started changing around my oral habits so one of the things that I didn't do often was flossing and most people don't we floss right before we go to our uh dentist regular dentist you know to make it seem like we've been flossing and they're like oh they obviously go and they clean they realize we need to floss and then they're like oh you need to floss and we're like oh okay and then we don't floss 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 is very 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 important so if you're experiencing this um i'm kind of transparent about everything that goes on because i don't really have nothing i don't really have anything to hide from you guys i'm going to help you so if you were experiencing anything like that like i had bleeding gums and everything like every time i touched my brush my teeth it would bleed and stuff until i got that cleaning so once i got that cleaning it subsided a little bit but then i started to I still had like a tiny bit like every once in a while when I brushed my teeth and it was concerning. So what I did was I got a, a mouthwash for bleeding gums and I got a toothpaste for bleeding gums. So the mouthwash is this mouthwash and this is the Natural Dentist Healthy Gums. Um, treats bleeding gums, fights gingivitis and uh, freshens breath. This one is Peppermint Swiss. I don't know if you can see that. This one is Peppermint Twist. Um, I actually really like the flavor of this. It doesn't have any alcohol or artificial flavors or colors. And it's really, really good. Ace, my toothpaste, um, forgive me. It's a little, you know, I keep this in my bag and I use a lot of it. Um, this is the Paradontax. Um, I don't know if I've shown this in my previous videos. I might have. But this flavor is a clean mint. And this also helps prevent bleeding gums. And um, it says clinically proven healthy gums and strong teeth. Um, daily fluoride, anti-cavity, and anti-gingivitis and toothpaste. So um, I use this. And then um, I'll just tell you about my whole oral hygiene uh, from start to finish. So in the morning, I swish with coconut oil for about five to ten minutes and that's for oil pulling so i use like any coconut oil and uh i oil pull and what that does is gets oil sticks to uh all the plaque in your teeth and in your gums and everything like that and it aids at getting that out because sometimes when we floss we're just flossing but things are deep down in the gum line and we can't reach them so it's better to like swish with something that's going to stick to it and lift it that way it'll lift to the surface and you can floss so the next step obviously um would be to either floss or brush your teeth so i personally don't like flossing in the morning uh if i forget the night before then i'll do it in the morning but i personally just don't like doing it in the morning i feel like it just takes way too long especially when you have braces so uh what i do is just i oil pull i lift all that stuff up and then I will brush. During the day, I may brush my teeth when I'm at work. Uh, it just really depends on what I ate. Like if I ate something that's really like making my breath stink. Like I love like garlic and onions and all those things that smell disgusting on your breath. Like I love it. So <laughs> and like curry and like things like that. So if I ate something like that and I'm at work then I will brush my teeth moving on to the night that's when I do everything because that's like a day of eating I will um do the mouthwash and then I go ahead and floss I use uh the oral B complete satin floss um this one sometimes I use uh the one for sensitive gums I used that one like a month ago but honestly it really doesn't matter as long as you're getting a, like a satin kind of floss, these are really good for braces because of the thickness of it. And this, of course, is a mint flavor. I just like the mint flavor. I don't know. I just, 
I love everything. Just mint. It makes me like everything just fresh and clean and just so fresh and so clean, clean. So um, I like that floss. It works like really good for me. Um, I literally just stick it in, put it in, and um, floss in each one. And if you struggle with flossing as a um, as somebody new to braces and things like that, um, you'll get better. Um, when I first started, it was terrible. It took so long. They gave me those stupid, like, threader things. You'll see in my first video, um, I'll put the link up here or some somewhere. Like, just way too much going on. So, just, um, bear in mind that you will get better at it, especially if you floss every night like I do or try to floss every night like I do. If you skip a night, it's fine, but don't let days go by and you're not flossing, especially if you are on a morning watch for those uh, gum diseases and things like that. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. You just have to be extra careful because you are prone to those things. And also, um, you have braces. So your mouth is like 10 times dirtier with the braces. <laughs> so you want to make sure you're like, you can't reach a lot of places as good as you would if you didn't have them. So that's what I mean. So you want to make sure that you're really getting in there and doing everything that you need to do to handle this situation because you're not going to spend all this money on getting your teeth fixed and then your teeth is falling out like that's especially if it's something that could have been prevented if you're having those type of uh issues i recommend that you probably go to the dentist more frequently my orthodontist and my dentist's office are separate so um i try to schedule my appointments right before i'm gonna get them tightened just in case something happens they pop a bracket or do something like that it's not like i can't go to my orthodontist right after but it's just a major inconvenience and you know my schedule is kind of tight so i try to make sure like you know you do everything like that three or four months um periodically Usually, you're supposed to, when you don't have braces, you're supposed to get your teeth clean probably like one, um, twice a year or at least go to the dentist once a year. So, whatever you do, I times it by two. This is something my dentist told me, especially with my situation. I don't know your situation, so, but I'm just suggesting that if you have something going on, like what I had going on, just want to make sure those are clean, especially if you have like tiny teeth. So, um, I was recommended to go every three months or like four times a year. I think I pretty much covered everything about oral hygiene. This is about it for this video guys. I really appreciate you guys for watching and supporting and I just feel like you guys love these types of videos. Uh, they get the most views so I thank you so much. I thank you for everybody that is newly subscribed to my channel. If you want to see more of these videos and you like the updates, don't forget to give me a little like so I know what to post and, you know, the whole point of me posting is to help you guys and to help you guys get through the journey through me. And, um, so if you have any questions, a lot of people reached out to me, asked me questions, um, on my Instagram. So follow me on Instagram at Rakai, R-A- C K I, that's it at Rakai. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.